Oh, uh, the same page number is fear on Zeeban on fear sish, not exactly 48, 47 is a page. Okay, so we're going to start with a fresh topic today, and then after finishing off this topic, we're going to come back again to the accusative and nominative thing. Yeah, so in this particular topic, we're going to talk about two things because in this chapter we are dealing with the food and food items and shopping and shopping items so the topic that we have here is einkaufen im supermarkt einkaufen means shopping supermarkt means supermarket so the topic that we have here is einkaufen im supermarkt that is shopping in the supermarket supermarket so we will see how do we do that yeah so now what are you going to do here is, let me show this now. Yeah, you will be listening here, uh, dialogue. Dialogue means dialogues, dialogues. And you have here, I think, uh, one, two, three, four. yeah, five pictures and five dialogues. You can see this is one picture, two picture, picture number second. And then we have in the British, uh, the British build, then theaters, and then uh, the film disc. That is the fifth one. So you have to listen to the conversation, what they are like doing, or what they are having, or what conversation they are having. I will also give you uh, a minute time to read all the dialogues that you have here. Like you can see dialogue number one. Then you have the dialogue number zwei, then dry, then fear, and then fumes. So before I start with the huron, the listening part, you need to read all the dialogues and you have to see pictures very well. Then you have to listen to the dialogue and you have to figure out which dialogue goes with which picture. Yeah, which dialogue goes with which picture. Yeah, so you will be listening dialogue one, two, three, four, and you have to talk about which dialogue goes for which picture or for which uh, like uh, for which uh, huron goes with which picture here. So before I start with the huron, start reading the dialogues. I'll give you, there are five dialogues here. So you'll hardly need two to three minutes. So read it. And then when you are done with the reading, just let me know. Then I can play the huron and you can find out which uh, huron we need to and which huron passes with which picture. Okay, better we do one thing. Uh, I'll ask you to read the dialogue. You read it. Uh, Samriti, we still here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Samriti, let's see dialogue number one. We discuss something. 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 We Kionin, Kionin, G. Westlin, Westlin, Bitter. Yamomen, Yamomen, here Bitter, Dunk, Dunk. Okay. Uh, Entschuldigung, ich brauche, not brauche, it's brauche. Always remember when you have CH in any word, try to read it with the K pronunciation first. Yes, yeah, Amriti? So, ich brauche einen Euro. Euro? Für den Einkaufswagen. Können Sie uh, bitte oder können Sie wechseln, bitte? Ja, Moment. Hier bitte. Danke. Yeah. So the conversation here is, uh, you can see as in the picture, uh, it shows that she wants an Einkaufswagen. Uh, Einkaufswagen means the shopping, I would say, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the wagon's English name. How do you call that? Uh, when we go to Shaw, like when we go to the supermarket, we need to uh, trolley. Yeah, that's the Einkaufs wagon is the shopping trolley. Yeah, so she needs one euro for the shopping trolley. So currency Excel. Yeah, that means can you change bitte? So she says, uh, the person says, yeah, moment, that is, yeah, just a minute, here, bitter, that means take it, here, bitter is like, here is, 
take it or like we say here it is here is here the same and the uh, the answer comes back as down curve okay this was the first dialogue about the einkaufswagen einkaufswagen is a masculine noun der einkaufswagen so please note it down i'll tell you afterwards why it changed to den right now this was the dialogue first ashwin bitte lesen sie dialog nummer 2 bitte yeah uh and should it was costed the upper that no 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 in no in in no in six and and uh huh and we feel costed the costed the orange in the orange in the mm -hmm. ein 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 punkt no in ein punkt ट It's just imagine that the apples after is nine or nine six cent, and we feel costed their oranges after. How does or uh, what is the charge or what is the price of the orange juice? So the answer is ein Pfund neun Euro. Yeah. So this is the dialogue number five when we are talking about the oranges after and apples after. Okay, uh, Revati, bist du hier? Listen, see. Then, or the lesson, see the dialogue number three, please. Here comes the common charging. Is better. Is better. Why? 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 ट्रान uh where comes dran is a uh, just remember this statement uh this means who is next this sentence means uh, like if if you are in uh, somewhere in the line if you are in a if you have lined up somewhere so the uh, the person who is at the reception of uh, who is at the counter he or she asks you as a normal it's a very general question in germany or uh, it's a very common question everywhere who is next so who is next in german we call it where kommt dran yeah so that is who is next so this is what does this is what it means yeah so where kommt dran the answer is ich bitte i am was möchten sie uh now the whole topic that we're going to discuss today is about this particular verb möchten yeah Motion is a verb that we're going to discuss, and how do we use motion in in a in a sentence? That I'm going to tell you. Motion is basically a modal verb. Uh, we have some other modal verbs as well in German, but then this is the first modal verb that you're going to learn in this chapter, along with a few more modal verbs. This means, uh, would like. Yeah, motion is would like. Like I say, uh, I would like to have one uh, fifty grams of uh, chicken, please. Yeah, so this is was motion see, and the person asks you, what do you like to have, or what would you like to have? So the question is was motion see. The answer is ish motion, einstuck, eman. Ah, uh, sorry, emmentaler, 
Emmentaler is another way of calling cheese. Kaiser and Emmentaler, they both are synonyms. So write down the word, uh, write down the word cheese above. It's a kind of cheese. Like in English, we have processed cheese. Uh, then we have um, pizza cheese. Then we have cedar cheese. So there are different variety of cheese available. Similarly, Emmentaler is also a kind of cheese in Germany. So this is Einstück. Einstück means a piece. Stück means a piece. Stück, remember. Uh, Einstück, that means a piece. So I need a piece of cheese. Yeah, so this is a conversation here. I need a piece of cheese. Sonst noch etwas. Sonst noch etwas is another sentence which it would be good if you remember it only because uh, uh, these are some phrases. They, they don't have any as such grammatical thing that you need to remember that sonst pehle aega, noch baad mein aega, not like that. It's not in grammar. We have uh, like English anything more. So this is like that. The, this is like that only. Sonst noch etwas. That means uh, anything more. Yeah. Sonst noch etwas. Uh, yeah, the question, the answer is yeah, yes. Ich nehme 150 gram Schinken. Schinken, I told you, Schinken and Hähnchen, they are both same. Uh, Schinken is also chicken. So I would like to have, I take, Nehmen. I gave you the verb in the group last, uh, like I think yesterday. So when you have made, if you have made the conjugation, then I am sure you definitely would have looked up for the uh, meaning of the verbs because without knowing the meaning making conjugation is nothing so name is to take yeah name is to take so i take 50 grams 150 grams of chicken is das alles <coughs> this is another way of asking like we say uh, is something more or is it is it all that is it all is is it all that means anything more or is that all? Yeah, so this is what is thus alles is is to, uh, is that all? Yeah, is thus alles. So yeah, yeah, danke. So this question or this particular dialogue was based on what would you like to have? I would like to have this. Okay, anything more? Yeah, I would like to have another piece of chicken. Anything is that uh, is that alles? So yeah, that's it. So it is like a more. I would say defined conversation between a counter person and the person who is there to buy something. Okay, then uh, number four, this is a little small one, so I'm reading it, and then a fifth number, Sana will read. So number four says, I'm moment. Yeah, so number four, uh, number four says, and should go. Wo finde ich reis? Wo finde ich reis? Wo means where. Finden is a verb which means to find. So uh, anybody who can decode the meaning of the sentence and rice, their rice is yesterday we read, yesterday in the last class we read, rice is rice. So what does this question mean? Wo finde ich reis? Where do I find rice? Yeah, where do I find rice? Very good. So the answer is dot rest. Rest, you know, rest is right. And dot means uh, it's a word that we use in German there. It means uh, just go there, right. So dot is like, uh, like we say, waha pe, waha pe, so that waha. I think all of you are good with uh, Hindi. So the waha word is more like there. There, rest. That means waha pe, right. That's the thing is. Danke. So this was the question, uh, dialogue number four, dialogue number four. And the last one, uh, Sana, listen to bitte. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Better, better. Yeah, better. Yeah, better. We better. We better. Dry 
Okay, thus marked then act sen, act sen comma, fun fun zexish oiro. Act sen 18 comma, fun fun zexish oiro. Act sen comma, zexish oiro, oiro. Brauchen Sie, brauchen Sie then, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, better. Yeah, better. <clears throat> okay. So right now you don't know how to read the German price. So you are reading it just as, as given in the book, Aktsin, comma, Fionfun, Sexish, Euro. But then when you will get to know about it, like when we will hear in the audio, you will listen to it that they call it Aktsin, Euro, Fionfun, Sexish. Yeah, Aksen Euro, Funfun Zexish. So there is a way to tell the price. So we will do this for example. Uh, you can see there is a box given in the right side of the book. Maybe here I'll show you. Uh, yeah, this box. So when you have this, uh, yeah. So when you have this uh, 0 0.999 euro, that means it has not is it is not equal to one euro. Yeah, one euro means uh, English may it is approximately eighty eight rupees. One euro in German is equal to eighty eight rupees in Indian rupee. So one euro se jab kam hota hai, we call it cent. Yeah, to yahan pe ek euro bhi hua nahi hai because you can see don zero nine nine hai. So this is nine or nine six cent. So, jab bhi, uh, normally, aise to likha hai cent, but then agar likha nahi ho, so you have to understand that this is not uh, more than one euro. So, you will not call it euro, it is noin or noinsish cent. Mm -hmm. Then you have one comma, agar kuch euro diya wa hai, so you have to call it ein euro noin. Previously, we were calling it ein comma noin euro, but this was wrong. So, you have to call it ein euro noin. One, ke baad ab euro bolenge, fir jo last ka jo do, do, do bhi digits hai, you would say it after euro. So, I euro noin. Similarly, it is 2 comma 20. So, it would be swai euro swan, uh, swansish. Swai euro swansish. Yeah, so this is how we talk about this thing. Yeah, the price in German.